Defense and Space News TV report. Today we are going to discuss about air defense system S-400 versus USA's Patriot ANS that. The American-made Patriot and Russian S-400 Triumph air defense systems are currently hogging international orders despite their price tags running into billions of dollars. While the Patriot is more or less a captive market within United States allies, the S-400 has had to sell on its capabilities alone having won orders from Turkey and China, countries which compete with Russia in the international arms market. Further orders for the S-400 is likely to come from India which has internally approved the acquisition with only a formal signature on the contract awaited to set the procurement process in motion. In addition, Saudi Arabia, Morocco and Iraq are said to be in negotiations to buy the system. Another US-made system, the HUD Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Missile Defense System that is designed to intercept ballistic missiles at high altitude is also a competitor for the S-400 regarding some of its features, though not in terms of direct international sales. S-400 vs Patriot Pack 3 According to the table above, the S-400 comes across as the most advanced serially produced air defense missile system in the world. Its closest rival is American Patriot with both systems capable of shooting down both aircraft and ballistic missiles. Here is a comparison of technical parameters, S-400 can shoot down targets moving at a speed of 17 km slash hour while Patriot slash Pac-3 could only shoot down a target moving at 8 km slash hour, S-400 can engage with 72 targets simultaneously and track 160 targets at their same parameters for Patriot are 36 and 125 targets S-400 locates a target at 600 km distance and can destroy at 400 km range with the latest 40N6C missile that just has been successfully tested. Patriot can locate a plane at 180 km and an enemy's missile at 100 km S-400 is able to down targets flying as low as 10 meters and as high as 30 km while Patriot Pack 3 destroys its lowest target at a height of 50 meters with the highest at 25 km The deployment time for S-400 and Patriot Pack 3 is 5 minutes and 25 minutes respectively. Various informed sources have said that to hit an aircraft with a probability not less than 0.99, one will have to launch one 2S-400 missiles or two 3 Patriot missiles. In case of fighting off a ballistic missile attack the ratio will be 1, 2 or 3 in favor of S-400. The Patriot system's usage during actual deployment situations has left room for doubt over its performance. For example, after the 1991 Gulf War it was revealed that only a percentage of Iraqi SCUD missiles were actually shot down by Patriot batteries guarding Saudi Arabia and Israel. In case of the Iraqi missile strike against the American military barracks in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, in February 1991 the failure of the Patriot intercept left to a tragedy. 27 troops were killed, about 100 wounded. In 2003, also the overall performance was better, there were also cases of failed intercepts of the outdated ballistic missiles launched by Saddam's army in the first days of the invasion. The effectiveness of Patriot systems proved to be low despite almost ideal conditions, low-speed targets, solitary launches, absence of ECM environment and false targets. After 1991 and 2003 significant upgrades are reported to be made but the Saudi experience of countering the Yemeni missiles, comparable to the ones used by the Iraqis, shows almost the same lack of efficiency. See November 2017 missile attack against Riyadh. Combat use of the Patriot systems has also highlighted some shortcomings of the system, high sensitivity to sand ingestion and unstable electric supply. There have also been reports of accidental launches. However, the S-400 is yet to be tested in battle so there is no record of it having been fired during actual combat. The system has been deployed in Syria, but didn't engage any targets yet. 
There have been reports that the S-400 deployment effectively converted the Russian operating zone over Syria into a no-fly zone. Some Western media reports that US-led coalition and Israeli aircraft avoid the area covered by the S-400. It is interesting to note that China which has its own anti-aircraft and anti-missile air deference system, choose to buy the S-400. It must be remembered that Turkey had first selected then rejected a Chinese proposal for an air defense system. Increasing US aircraft activity in the South China Sea is believed to have forced China to buy the S-400 from Russia, in the process acknowledging that its own homegrown air defense system were not sufficient to counter sophisticated US aircraft such as the F-35 and F-22. China, which is the first international customer to receive the S-400 is scheduled to test fire the system in August or September 2018. An ace up the sleeve of the 4S-400 is said to be its ability to detect stealth aircraft such as the F-35 and Chinese J-20 which are characterized by a low radar signature. Exact how effective is this stealth object's detection capability is not known. But suffice to say there is genuine concern among Western commentators that the S-400 could covet the F-35 which took some 396 billion US dollars to develop, into a regular fourth generation aircraft effectively negating its tech and price advantage. The same would apply to the Chinese J-20 if the S-400 were to be purchased by India. S-400 and that the US built that is an effective missile defense system whose capabilities of downing ballistic missiles in terms of intercept altitudes and ranges surpass its the rivals. However it is strictly an anti-missile system, which can hit targets only at very high altitudes, minimum 40 to 50 kilometers, which makes it useless against fighter jets or long-range strategic aircraft. It is not an air defense missile like S-400 or Patriot. Countries seeking effective defense against aircraft and missiles will have to buy two costly American systems, Patriot and Thud, while the Russian S-400 can unite their functions. S-400 can also hit difficult ballistic targets of distances up to 60 kilometers. The ability to shoot down the high-speed targets of S-400 almost equals HUD, around 17 kilometers slash hour, a defense industry source said. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, comment and stay with us.